Welcome back, everyone, to another wonderful, wonderful edition of Diabetic Tip Corner. Now, this one is actually an issue I've seen on a number of forums, and after searching and searching, I finally found the answer for it. Now, what you see right over here, this is actually my phone screen for my Samsung Galaxy S10. Uh, and the reason I got that is because it can actually control my Omnipod. But what most people are having issues with is when you connect Dexcom to it, um, even though you can get your readings on it, it wouldn't show on your lock screen. And that sucks because sometimes you just want to see it while it's locked. But as you can see right now, mine actually does show. 96 and rising. Mm. That's why I get for drinking too much coffee. Anyway. <laughs> so. This is how you actually get it to show up, and I'm going to put a text-based version down below so that way you can actually follow along with text if that's more convenient for you. But, here's what you do. Pull down your notification window, and right on the bottom, right here, you see notification settings. I'm going to press that. And then by default, you get brief, but you don't want brief. You want detail. And then check advanced settings real quick. And make sure that for show notification icon, that kind of thing, um, put it for all if you want to. And then pretty much it will actually show it. It should show it. Sometimes there might be a security issue in Dexcom that it asks you to actually okay it and then you okay it, but once you do, then you actually do have your CGM info right on your lock screen instead of having it that you have to open it. And especially like for my job, because my job, we're not allowed to wear watches, so a Samsung gear is out of the question, because I can't wear it anyway. But that's how you do that. Hopefully it helps somebody. And if you have any questions, just feel free to leave a comment and let me know or send me a direct message. Peace.